All right, Bob. So first thing, I want you to get on your bar a little bit more. Notice how your heels, you come on your toes on that left side. So, and then also like, notice how like the bar moves backwards and your feet don't move anywhere. So like you're already kind of moving backwards and your feet aren't even moving. So that tells me that you're not directly under the bar because where the bar is here, then you're directly under the bar. Does that make sense? So walk forward a little bit, stand up, and then step back, okay? What I would like you to do is just stay a little bit more connected to the bar. Just notice how when you go to squat up, you see this kind of like little mini jolt in the body. See how you can actually see the bar like sinking into the back a little bit more on the way up. So you're you're starting to drive up and the bar is not even on, on the body. Okay. So make sure you stay connected to the bar and you don't lose that separation between the bar on the pins. Okay. All right couple things one look at the elbow position notice how like far out they are I want them forward of the bar all right and then the second thing just hold the lockout for an extra moment okay see how forward of the bar is you can actually see it's like it's like here all right so make sure you're you're driving your head through. You're really owning that top position. And then also, notice how your legs are bent and then they straighten out. You can actually see your quad here flexing. I'll slow this down so you can see what I'm talking about. See how it like slides back. And then you start flexing and then you start pressing. So before you start pressing, or before you start trying to initiate the press, flex your quads as hard as possible. Okay, I don't want to see the knees straightening out and then you're pressing, all right, because that's going to be contribution from the lower body, and that's a slightly different exercise. So, all right, so let's uh, go ahead and clean that up for next week, okay?